So Spike Jones is her from 2013, this movie. It's pretty good. Still actually really good. Watched it originally when it came out in the theater and I remember enjoying it a lot then too, but I uh, just wanted to watch it again recently because of all the stuff that's been in the news about, you know, GPT-4, O, and also there was news about Scarlett Johansson actually suing the guys who made GPT, whatever, because the voice performance is very obviously based off of her performance in this movie as well. So good luck to her on that. But one of the most depressing things still about this movie is that it just kind of serves to highlight how much worse our world is by the sort of utopian vision that Jones had for her. Like the only thing that has come to pass really from this movie that we actually have in the real world now are the Apple AirPod earbud things. The air, you know, the earpods that go in your ears and are separated. That wasn't a thing at the time when this movie came out. That was sci-fi fantasy in 2013, you know, 11 years ago. Wow. But that's the only thing we really got. But like everything else is, that we have in the real world that's comparable to this is like the toilet paper stained version of it. Like, take the AI, for example. Now, some people are like, oh, we have AI, we're getting close to her. No, we're not. AI in our world is actually this thing called a large language learning model or language learning model, large language model, whatever, LLM. Anyway, it's not AI. If you ask any actual like scientist, you know, there's a, some really great videos that talk about why AI that we have here is really just branding for something. The same way that like HD glasses are, you know, marketing or whatever for people. But really, AI in our world is just the thing designed to steal stuff from artists and not pay them or mimic things in the same way that like a parrot mimics things. And just like a parrot doesn't understand the words that it's saying whenever it mimics something, it's just using the mushy parts inside of its beak to like, you know, make sounds that it recognizes and can mimic. It doesn't understand when it says, probably want a cracker, that it's asking you for a cracker. It's just going, blah, 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 and it just happens to be sounds that we recognize as words. It's just mechanically emulating something without any of the context. That's what our AI does. The point is, Samantha in her is an actual intelligence. She truly cares and wants and thinks and contemplates and takes inspiration like a person does. She composes music. She seems to understand the meaning behind words and the notes and everything in her work. She has this ability to develop complex feelings that evolve and decide what she does or doesn't care for. She's not designed to maximize revenue for shareholders or extract additional money from a user base in order to enrich some company executive that distributes her on their platform. But yeah, the world that Theodore lives in is just this incredible, beautiful place that seems clean and lush and Everyone there has plenty of leisure time and, you know, it's just, again, it's kind of depressing to come back to the real world where everybody has a gig job, no one's got retirement or full time, no one under 50 can afford a house. But other than all that, the movie's actually really great. I give it a four and a half stars. Definitely check it out if you had not seen it.